<laughs> Anywho, right. <clears throat> so we're going to try and wrap this up pretty quickly now. Uh, it's getting late in the day. Where did the gold come from out here at Sunny Corner? Was it put there by the early volcanoes? Is, is it in the, all that sedimentary stone, that conglomerate stone? Short answer is no. The gold came after all of that stuff was deposited. The gold in the Sunny Corner area is mainly from the ground fracturing and the the hot liquids and gases coming up into those cracks. So all of that stuff that we've looked at already has already formed and it's already tilted and, and it's done all that and it's been eroding away and all that kind of thing. Right at the very, very end of the whole geological activity at this area, right at that very end stage, there was still a bit of heat down there under the ground and it was pushing up those minerals that were already in the ground. So they were being you know, down lower in the ground, you know, hundred, you know, lots of kilometres in the ground, it was dissolving those that had been put there before through volcanic action and tectonic movements and all those things. And the old miners were chasing those quartz seams that were cracks in the ground where that hot liquids and gases had come up and solidified and that's where the gold was. And I can tell you that with a fair amount of certainty because where I'm walking now... I'm going to walk you onto one of the old stamp mills or the locations where there was one of the old stamp mills and the boiler that still remains here. So there's one of the, the tanks. They used to actually bring supplies to Australia on the ships in these tanks. So it could be sugar, it could be treacle, um, flour. Anything of value came in these metal tanks. And there's the old boiler that was running the the crushing plant that was here. <clears throat> so that pretty much summarizes what we've been looking at. But these guys were chasing seams of quartz, and there's the quartz there. Someone's been metal detecting and not filling in their holes. Um, there's the old foundation post for the structure of the building. Um, that's the quartz, so I'm running through it. So they were mining this quartz out of the seams, the cracks that have that have broken as the as it been all tilting up, it cracks the earth, all those hot liquids and gases come up, they solidify in those cracks with the gold, and that's what these guys were digging out. They were digging out the quartz containing the gold, bringing it over here, they always put it near a creek, a water supply, because you need water run a crusher you've got to put water through the crusher and you've got to have water for the steam engine there's one of the what remains of one of the old wheels that would have driven the five head stamper like that's a pretty cool old bit of equipment that and i do enjoy showing you guys this stuff um bricks drive shaft so yeah that's where your gold came from out here it came up in the last sort of geological active period of this this area long after all the ocean and all that is all gone vanished that's when the gold came it came very late in the geological volcanic active period of this area sorry i'm gawking myself and not showing you guys that's a pretty cool old boiler hey now i've been in quite a few of the the mine shafts that they were digging the quartz out of to bring to here and found little specks of gold just laying in the bottom so there you go 
Right, well, it's starting to get late in the day. My body's starting to tell me that it's time to stop moving around. Time to sit here and have a rest. Yeah. I was going to take you and show you an artillery range, but I end up missing, I drove past it. All right, well. Holy cow, my knees hurt. That's it. I'm out of here. Time to go have a feed and have a rest. Oh, there's the old earth ball dam. So I used to dam it off. And more than likely, they would have had a, a steam pump that would pump the water from down there up to there. That's where you your five head stamper or your 10 head stamper would have been. That pile there is probably all the tailings that come out of it. Because I say, that's all quartz and they would have brought it down fairly close to the stamper so they could either hand feed it or drop it through a chute. But wherever you had these old boilers and stampers, they always had water. And that's the remains of the earth wall dam they would have built up to actually run that stamper plant. <sighs> All right. I am out of here. So, until the next video, stay safe. Everyone always tells me, take care. And I always look at it and go, where am I taking it and what am I doing with it? Yeah, okay, I'll take care. I mean, I'm still here. Obviously, I've taken care. All right. Get out there and get into it. Until the next one, have a good one. I'll see you all later. Bye.